Hello everyone, uh, Mike Henderson here again, continuing with uh, how to set, uh, typeset your novel using Scribus. Uh, we have, uh, Scribus is open, we're going to get our template that we set up, new, so we go to file, select new from template, and up comes a list of all the templates, here's our novel. You can also just list the ones that are your own templates. So we're going to open that and up comes hopefully a bunch of blank pages which is uh, exactly what we have we'll zoom out so we can see it's just the pages as we have set it up with the margins and so forth now we're going to enter text I've got my uh, novel all set up over here I've selected text copy I'm going to put in get rid of that okay this is all set up and formatted, uh, but it doesn't matter because once it goes into Scribus, uh, this all goes away. But just so you can see what I have here, I've got a different font and different uh, layout. It's uh, page breaks in it and uh, chapters and headers. All this goes away. So we're going to go. Oh, we're going to go back to Scribus. Double click on the within the text box. Right click paste. Up comes our uh, uh, novel, or the, you know, such, as the as, such of it as we've copied. In the format that we've set up in our template, so this has the indentation and the font and the typeface, the size and everything else, line spacing, all just the way we set it up. Now the front matter is um, done a certain way. There's a certain convention to it. So, as we may have mentioned, the first page where there's any text is always on the right. This is the back of the front cover. It's just a blank white piece of paper. Um, and then certain things come on certain pages. Um, so we're going to go through here and enter page breaks. And this is the first title page, Self-Portrait of a Dying Man. It's the only thing it's on there, so it's also by is another page. So I'm going to go Control-Enter. And one thing you see it did is it spread this out. Well, we don't want this. I'm going to show you why it did that. Um, we're going to go to View, Show Control Characters. This right here is, it shows you a line break. These little circles show that there's a space in between the word, word and this little arrow here um, shows you there's a page break there. Well, I put a page break immediately after the text and before the next line break, which is kind of this thing here. So, it doesn't like that, and when it does that for some reason, it shifts it from full justification, which is what this is, to... Uh, forced justification, which is this, where it makes the whole sentence go all the way across the page, no matter how many uh, words are in it. So I found a way to get rid of that. It's just go to at the end of the text, go to the end of the text here, type a space, and it goes away. Yeah. I don't worry about the rest of this. I'm just going to go through here and paginate this a little bit, just to show you. Also, by is a separate page. And then here is um, the next title page. So I'm going to go to the end of that. I'm going to go to the next page. I'm going to go to the next uh, line break here so I don't have that spread out problem. Control Enter. Sorry. Undo. <laughs> because I wanted. I want this on that page, so I should have gone down here. Control Enter. There's also by, and it's got the two other books I've written. Um, the dedication page, so that's. Uh, whoops, alright. So sometimes it takes it a couple seconds to do the next thing. So here is then the next title page with my name, then the copyright page. Well, I don't want the copyright page on the title page, so I do Control Enter again. So this has just a title page, uh, 
copyright. Here's a dedication. And right on down the line, you just continue doing these uh, page breaks um, until you're satisfied with the lineup. Now, it's going to be uh, so we're going to do that in the next video. We'll take a look at then what to do with this here.